Today video I am going to show you that Lewis structure, geometry and bond angle of a compound. So first to determine that Lewis structure, you need to count that steric number. So you can also see that whole uh, whiteboard I draw a lot of structure. So this is just a common concept. So before going to that Lewis structure, you need to know that steric number. Then we will go that geometry and the effect of that lone pair. So first to determine that uh, aesthetic number you need to know that single bond is count as one and double bond also is count as one triple also count as one and lone pair also count as one so uh, to uh, determine that aesthetic number i can give you an example right so we already know that structure of water molecule right so in that order molecule there is two single bond right so one two and two lone pair one three this is four so one two three four so this number are count as aesthetic number so any kind of compounds like ammonia you can see that structure so ammonia has three single bond right single bond which will count as three and one lone pair which will count as one so ammonia also have like four steric number okay so when we count that four or, or any uh, steric number then we can go through that general topics and we can go through that Lewis structure geometry and bond angle of any compound okay so in today video i will specifically show you that compound cl2co lewis structure their geometry and the bond angle so at the same time i will show you that uh, bond angle is affected by that lone pair electron so i will show you that all together in that two video come on so in today video, I'm going to show you that specifically this compound, which is Cl2CO, it's Lewis structure, geometry, and bond angle. And I can show you that that bond angle is impacted by that lone pair electron. So Lewis structure, we need to find out their valence electron. So for valence electron, you need to count from there, right? So chlorine has seven valence electron. 7 cross 2 because there is 2 chlorine and carbon carbon has 4 valence electron and for oxygen there is 6 valence electron so total there is 24 valence electron right so you can see that the number 2 Lewis structure so before go to that Lewis structure you need to determine their electronegativity because you need to know which one will go to that middle, right? So for you can see that chlorine has 3.16 electronegativity, carbon 2.58, and oxygen has 3.44. So the carbon has the least one. So carbon will go the middle. Okay. Then we uh, need to set up that. So I will set up oxygen here and chlorine here. And then we need to give their valence electron. So carbon has four, you already know that. Chlorine has seven, which I can draw like this. You know that oxygen has six, right? So I can, I can draw that six like that, right? So this is your Lewis dot extract structure of that compound. But what will happen here? So this bond with that one, this will bond that one. And then you can see that chlorine and carbon have single bond. So they already made that. So there is all, always two left, right? This one and this one. So this will make bond with that one right and this electron will bo make bond with that one so if i put that electron here of carbon 
so it will make that bond like that okay so it will make double bond with oxygen and single bond with chlorine so if i draw that structure again so it will be like that right so this is your simple structure then you need to find out their steric number so we already know that for single bond steric number is one and also for double bond steric number is one so you know that that one that one and that one which makes it total three steric number and then we need to match that three number with that table okay so here you can see that steric number is three and then we need to go there is no lone pair electron so we need to go that first one right because this is for zero lone pair so geometry will come trigonal planar so this geometry is trigonal trigonal planar okay and the bond angle will be 120 so the bond angle will 120 so in this video you already know that this uh, compound lewis structure geometry is trigonal planar and bond angle so there is no impact on a bond angle of lone pair because there is no lone pair i think you got that